Let us continue loose watercolor practices. These videos are aimed to loosen up uh, your approach to watercolors and to finally help you meet your goal of making loose uh, watercolors. More videos of this sort will follow on, on this channel, so please continue uh, watching. We will be making this particular loose uh, subject today. We are, we are going very loose approach for the background and the foreground and little bit of details on the on the focal elements. That is what we are going to I mean we are going for. And loose watercolor approach will not lead to a precise result. That that is always uh, something that we have to remember when we paint a, a loose watercolors. So enjoy your process and uh, get better with uh, loose watercolors. So I am using a cold pressed watercolor paper uh, around 300 gsm and uh, uh, let us have some vague uh, marking here. So, okay. so I am sort of uh, kind of uh, marking the sky and the land uh, area and around the land I am just suggesting an idea of a boat. Okay, I am just I mean loosely drawing, I mean this drawing again is not very 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 detailed drawing, very loose uh, representation of a boat. Okay, that is that is what is my idea. I am using a 2B mechanical pencil. So whatever pencil that you have, you can use. I would suggest not to use a, a very hard pencil like H, HB or so. Maybe some uh, 2B, 3B like that. I mean graphite pencils you can use. And I I don't worry about making mistakes. And uh, here you can see that uh, there are some extra lines uh, here and there. That is, that is fine, perfectly fine. Okay, and if you want, you can erase. But I do usually don't erase because more tidy drawing. I mean, if you want to tidy tidy up everything, you you will have a tendency to I mean make it consciously very precise painting, and the looseness uh, will uh, will be going away. So here the idea is to make it loose. If some errors are happening, let it happen. Okay, let us be free. I mean, we are not making it for anyone else. We are making it for our own practice. So that I think uh, that approach will help. I mean, we are not. I mean, making it for. I mean, posting it in social media or make. I mean, showing it to anybody or for selling it. It is for our own satisfaction. It is for our own learning. Okay, now that drawing is ready, let us wet the sky area. I am using a soft round brush for this. Specifically speaking, I have used a Chinese calligraphy brush, but you can use any, any, any soft round brush. And I am making some suggestions for dark clouds. Okay, so the colors that I mixed are painis grey, little bit of blue and maybe a touch of crimson. Right. So I am not very precisely defining it, it is uh, just a suggestion. Okay. Let there be some white, uh, white spaces, uh, maybe showing some, uh, I mean, plain sky, and plain sky and some dark clouds. I think here the blue is little bit more, so it looks little bluish. That's okay. Okay, right. So yeah, play with it. Don't try to define everything very precisely. Don't try to precisely make the clouds. Right. Yeah, I, to me it looks good. To me it looks good. And uh, what about what about you? What about you? Do you do you like these clouds? So if you think uh, you are liking the clouds, please let me know in the comment box below. And if you wanted some uh, uh, a variation, what you would have liked in adding to the sky, you can you can write them into the comment box below. So that if uh, your suggestion makes, uh, I mean. If your suggestion is interesting, probably I can include that into the next video. Uh, some some additional suggestions for the clouds. Let me know. I mean, try to imagine. See, when when you do this kind of uh, approach, every now and then I am trying to observe and try to I mean think myself. Okay, what else? Can I add anything? Should I add anything? Very I mean, not very 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 precisely. Just 
any suggestion will any other suggestion will help you can have you can think in that sense and when i do this uh, darker color uh, this represents a foreign land and the land is coming towards you so that dark colors okay so we have a darker clouds some lighter sky and again some dark colors which is maybe a far away land or it could be water anything and uh, if you if you look at i have uh, left out paper white for two figures and the board so that is just so that i can have some colors for the the figures and the boards now we we i started making the the land portion of it the shore and the colors and that i am using is primarily uh, burnt sienna and uh, using a touch of uh, raw sienna and uh, when it comes to the darks i all may i also use a little bit of violet to that mix so it is a mix of uh, uh, raw sienna burnt sienna and uh, violet and uh, probably let us uh, smoothen it out spray some water and let it let it spray down i mean let the water bleed down and we can leave it like this this looks very loose but for some reason i think <coughs> i am losing the sense of uh, depth so i i have added a little bit of white a couple of seconds of video i got i lost so whatever i did is i applied uh, while the shore is still wet i applied little bit of darker tone which is again burn sienna and violet mixed together so i think yeah this is uh, this is fine enough uh, we have almost filled the background i mean the sh the paper but it looks too smooth i don't want smoothness i want some drama happening so i'm splashing quite a bit of water droplets there so hi you can see that it is sort of spoiled do you think it is spoiled now let me know your thoughts okay so i uh, i feel that it is a little bit of uh, i mean the texture is when little too much but that is okay i am also dropping some uh, sort of opaque color i think it is it was in my palette uh, maybe lit, a touch of uh, white which is white is because white is opaque i have splattered some uh, dots of white while it is still wet okay so that we get some interesting textures i know some of these textures look uh, too much but let, let it be i mean see your painting whatever whatever painting that is in front of you now it is a, it is a sequence of it is the result of a sequence of your thought process so these uh, textures represents uh, your thought process so you were probably little explorative you are little playful Uh, that is shown by this uh, extra bit of textures so i like to have that because that will bring you the memories whenever you see it later these textures will bring lot of memories of uh, that you experienced at the time of painting okay here i am going little bit precise usually this may not be the right thing to do with a uh, loose watercolors but uh, the approach here is try to make it loose and Uh, playful but when it comes to the focal element focal area let us let us let there be some uh, clear definitions okay right so i think i think we need little bit of darker tones uh, for the shadow uh, part of the boat okay so i think we have we are we have to add little bit of darks so the darks are usually again pen is gray and little bit of blue It, it is up to you what colors you use okay you don't have to precisely use the colors that i am using you can always use some dark colors uh, i mean uh, depending upon what is what you see in front of your eyes on your paper so depending upon that you pick the colors okay the decision of the colors you can take the decision my my approach could be a kind of a guideline but the final decision could be yours now let us make some dark shadows <clears throat> now as you see as the 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 time you start making these shadows you are getting lot of play of light so all of a sudden some light comes into the scene because of the sharp shadows 
now it looks like a lot of uh, lights are there in the atmosphere and for the for the figures this is a kind of uh, yellow rose sienna sort of a color uh, for some reason i want i today i wanted some colorful figures usually i use uh, muted colors for the figures but today i am using yellow and this is mauve kind of color reddish purple okay right and uh, for the lower body i am using painis gray and now i am using for the details i am using a round synthetic round brush and it is uh, escoda prado number no. 8 brush i think okay he is holding something in hand no it is not a briefcase it is something else related to the boat okay right now this looks good so i think it is making sense now okay so do you think uh, are you find do you find the uh, i mean painting figures uh, difficult to you let me know what do you think if uh, if you are finding painting figures very daunting task or it is easy uh, for your information there are a lot of uh, videos on this channel about painting these uh, tiny figures so constructing them so you can you can go and uh, have a look if you are finding figures as difficult let me know if you want uh, anything specific to making figures or making boards uh, if you want any any specific tutorial so please do let me know in the comment so that uh, I'll, i i can consider that if there are a lot of requests i mean specifically for boards or uh, certain poses of figures i can surely include that into a future tutorial okay but as of now <coughs> and that is not in my plan uh, because i think that is quite uh, no not that tough because a lot of tutorials are already there uh, about the figures but the, and the boards are not that tough usually okay now let us give some Uh, highlights or some <coughs> clarity to the figures some orange uh, touches for uh, the exposed body part if you are finding value in my tutorial and if it is helpful please please do subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell notification i will be planning more and more videos of this sort and uh, more detailed watercolor demonstration so you please uh, press the bell notification so that you get notified for my future videos and this takes uh, to be frank this takes a lot of effort so uh, i would really be i mean i mean it would really motivate if you can <coughs> interact with this video share it to your friends write comments and uh, give some motivation to me so that will really help me in i mean uh, creating more and more videos i i need some boost okay so you can <coughs> you can give some uh, sort of inspiration or motivation okay i think uh, i think i think we are done 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 okay uh, right what about a small sort of uh, some cable or something which is hooking the boat to the ground anchoring it to the ground maybe another one here that is just to create some contrast and some interest this is the focal element so this specific these touches are uh, may not be very loose kind of approach but we are doing all these things only to the focal element okay i think i think we are done do uh, what about i mean did it work really let me know if <coughs> if those cables did it work uh i think it works but uh, i would like to have i mean hear your views if that worked since we have added some kind of a hooking some pole so we need to create some shadow so these shadows can be an extra bit of uh, contrast i mean extra bit of support given to the focal element and since there is a first a person there on the other side of the boat we are creating shadow for him now i think that is that is fairly good another small piece of shadow for the foreign figure this and uh, that that's it we are done we are done thank you very much i have signed and uh, signing it i mean <coughs> officially closes that this is done i mean thank you for accompanying me in the journey of uh, practice
processing those watercolors. We have a long way to go. It is not an easy, easy journey. Loose watercolors are always a little difficult in the beginning stages. But as you as the journey continues, uh, you will get better and better, and the process becomes more enjoyable. So focus on the process and not on the results. And if you do that for a period of time, you will soon realize that you are getting better results. Okay. So if you are finding value in my channel, value in my content, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification. And if you have any question, any suggestion or any uh, feedback, please write them into the comment box below. And I will try to find some time and uh, get back to you. Thank you very much and uh, happy painting.